what do we have here what we have here is a multimeter which you can also call a multi tester so this tool right here in is used in electronics to measure resistance and diode then capacitance and as well so if you are a mobile phone technician and you don't know how to use this tool there will be a lot of mobile phone issues in which you wouldn't be able to solve because knowing how to use a multimeter you will be able to test and no uh, faulty components test and no short circuit open circuit and know the capacitance and the resistance of components you understand so this is a quick video that, uh, that i'm going to show you how you can use your multimeter how you can set your multimeter to test this or that you understand so let's start with resistance mode right here which is also called ohm and this side right here which is a v with this uh Max right here this is the dc section so we are going to start with a resistance right here i'm going to show you how you can i'm going to show you how you can set your multimeter and what you can test in case you set your multimeter to a particular range so let's start with this uh, range right here so if you look at your multimeter it doesn't matter the type of multimeter that you are using but if you look you might see the the diode symbol right here this symbol right here is the diode symbol and this one right here is the buzzer mode symbol so in this multimeter this range right here is being merged with the diode testing then with the buzzer mode testing but in some multimeters you will see this differently you understand so if you want to measure anything that is uh, a cable anything that you need to hear a sound or you want to measure anything that will show the resistance a low value resistance which is below 1000 kilo ohm then you are going to set it right here so to break it down if you want to test and see if a mobile phone is shorting you have to set your multimeter to this buzzer mode right here so let me show you what i'm talking about right here said i have a mobile repairing course in which i teach how you can repair and troubleshoot any type of mobile phone problem from the basic to the professional level of troubleshooting and in that course i have a particular topic about a multimeter in which i have shown how you can use all these options in your multimeter in a very detailed way you understand so if you register to the course it's your own time to learn a lot about mobile repairing so if you want to test and see if this mobile phone is shorting or if there is an open circuit you are just going to set it right there then test so if you test the the battery positive and negative then you don't see any sign if you test the battery positive and negative and you don't see any ohm reading in your multimeter okay. right here that means that there is an open circuit the circuit of this uh, mobile pcb is not completed you understand but when you test and you hear a beep that means that there is a short circuit in this pcb and the the pcb is just like a cable which is supposed to be like a, a full circuit that has resistance so any circuit that has a resistance like they have used a uh, kilo ohm resistors in it it does not supposed to have a continuity a connection it does not have to beep when you are testing it so there are some resistors that cannot read right here the resistors that are high value resistors cannot read in this particular section so for example if you are testing resistors below if you are testing resistors which is below 200 ohm you can test it right here but if you are testing resistors which is above 200 ohm resistor then you are going to set it to 200 you understand so how can you know these resistors you can know these resistors by using schematics or using the number behind the resistors and searching them online to see the exact value of that resistor so like I said, if you are testing a resistor, which you know, know very well that the resistor is supposed to be below 200 ohm right here, which is the resistor, then you can set it right here. So if you are testing a resistor, which is a kilo ohm resistor right here, it will not read. And that is because the multimeter cannot measure the resistance of the high value resistor right here. Even if it reads, it will not give you the correct value. So setting it where it's supposed to be, you will get the correct value in that in your multimeter. So if I want to measure something like a coil, 
right here a coil is supposed to be like a cable which means that i'm going to set it to buzzer mode right here i have to send my multimeter to buzzer mode right here a coil does not have resistance like resistors you understand it's supposed to be like a cable so let me just look for a coil right here which you can also call an inductor so this is a coil right here which looks like a uh, this one right here this is a coil right here you might think that it's a resistor but that's a coil so if you are testing something that you know that it's a coil that's supposed to beep you have to set your multimeter right here and if you are testing a diode you have to set your multimeter right here so for example if i want to test this diode right here so this is a diode this is a diode right here so if you want to test this diode if you want to test this diode on this pcb right here we are going to set our multimeter to diode mode right here which is which on this uh, multimeter is being merged with a buzzer mode so let's test this diode right here so that i will show you what i'm talking about so diodes are supposed to read only in one side because they pass current only in one direction so let's perform this testing right here and you see that it reads so when it reads then you have to turn to the other side and test it again so so now that i have tested the diode in both reverse and forward mode and it gives a reading right here that is not a correct reading because the diode is supposed to pass resistance only in one side it's supposed to pass a reading a connection only in one side so because you have tests in both sides, when the diode is being mounted on a PCB, you have tests in both sides, then you get a reading in both sides. does not mean that you just have to conclude that the diode is bad. Remember, there, this diode right here is connected in parallel connection, and there are some resistors in this line that are being connected in parallel as well. So those resistors can cause this reading right here. Which, And what I'm saying right here is that for you to test, a diode and conclude that the diode is bad you have to at least remove the diode from the pcb or just check up one side remove one side from the pcb then test so from there if you get the reading on both sides that means that the diode is bad you understand so that is how you can use this section right here to test this diode mode right here so like i said if you are testing a resistor right here in this boza mode and the resistor does not read because normally there are high value resistors on this pcb sometimes 8 kilo ohm resistor if you are testing them right here they won't read so if you are testing any resistor in this buzzer mode right here and it does not read then make sure you try switching right here even if you are not able to to know the value of that resistor then make sure that you try switching to the other options right here so well i don't really think that there is any resistor in a mobile pcb above 200k ohm uh, 200 kilo ohm you understand there are electronic circuits that have this type of high value resistors you understand so what about the dc section right here there is nothing much to talk about this section right here but it's really important to know so this is our dc section which is not a big deal to use in a mobile phone so we have the uh, 2 volt right here we have 20 volt right here we have a 200 volt then we have 1000 volt which is dc any voltage between 2 to 20 volt you can test it right here so if you want to for example if you want to test the voltage of a mobile phone battery you can either set it to 20 right here or you can set it to 200 so i prefer you use 20 so i prefer you use 200 right here because when you set it to 20 it will give like two digits number to you but when you set it to 200 it will give the exact number but you need to understand that between 20 volt and 200 volt you can test it in any of these sections right here you understand and one thing that you need to understand right here when you are working on a backlight section of a mobile phone you don't have to set your multimeter to 20 because the backlight that the, the voltage that is being generated in the backlight section of a mobile phone is above 20 volt you have to set it to 200 so i have a mobile repairing course in which i teach how you can repair and troubleshoot any type of mobile phone problem from the basic to the professional level of troubleshooting and in that course i have a particular topic about a multimeter in which i have shown how you can use all these 
options in your multimeter in a very detailed way you understand so if you register to the course it's your own time to learn a lot about mobile repairing so if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure that you like this video and subscribe then leave a comment down right there in case you have a question to ask